Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. By now, most people know if you leave beach gear overnight on Baldwin County beaches, it probably won't be there in the morning. It's part of the Leave Only Footprints movement to keep the beaches clean, safe, and environmentally friendly. But in Gulf Shores, there seemed to be an exception to that rule until now. News 5's Debbie Williams has the story on the Baldwin County beat. The off-season in Gulf Shores, hardly a soul on the beaches, and a perfect time to get things in order for the tourist season that's just a couple months away. Our season is March through October. This season, those large wooden beach lounge chairs will start to become a thing of the past. And our proposal is to phase that out over a period of seven years. It's the next part of the Leave Only Footprints ordinance that doesn't allow beach gear to be left on the sand overnight. But up until now, hundreds of those large wooden beach loungers did stay overnight for months at a time. Our plan is a 14% reduction each year. For about half a dozen beach service companies that make a living on the beaches here in Gulf Shores, this is going to change the way they do business. We all know that it's going to happen. It's just a matter of it being an easy transition for us. These are the folding chairs. Over the next seven years, the wooden loungers will be replaced with a more manageable, removable chair. They're utilized uh, significantly down in the Destin, Fort Walton Beach areas. So it's not something that's foreign. It's not something that's unknown to the guest. Uh, so it's just a matter of regearing and changing, you know, the way we do things over the next few years. The next season, the type of chair you rent may look different, but the view will still be the same. On the Baldwin County Beat in Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, News 5. A similar proposal is being considered by the city of Orange Beach. A Gulf Shores vote on the seven-year phase-out plan will happen next week. Mobile County is going to start using aerial photography more often for property tax.